Hello everybody. It seems that a lot of people are having issues with their Wi-Fi connections. So I decided to make a short tutorial. So if you your Wi-Fi is not working on your phone but working on other devices, then this tutorial is for you. Now as you can see there are a lot of articles on Google addressing this issue. The problem is that all of them are bullshit. Trust me, I have read the first three pages of Google addressing this issue and none of them even came close to address the problem. They just were basically saying that you have to restart your phone, maybe your phone is broken, you have to make sure that uh, the airplane mode is uh, off and uh, you make sure you have to make sure that you have internet. So common things, common things which uh, are uh, no-brainer fixes. Of course, you are going to have your Wi-Fi enabled on your phone because you're a smart person. Now, there are a couple of things which you can do. But first, let me tell you why this works. Basically, every Wi-Fi and every Wi-Fi network or wireless network has a cap. Let's say that this cap is 100. This is the number of connected devices the maximum number of connected devices. Once this cap is, is reached, the Wi-Fi or the wireless will limit the number of connections. So you will often see that uh, sometimes you will be able to access the Wi-Fi from your uh, laptop, but at the same time it work won't, work won't, won't work on your phone. And on other times, when you're connected uh, to your Wi-Fi on your phone, that you cannot connect with your laptop. It really depends on the device. Usually iPhone devices are notorious for this as they will often give you the password incorrect problem which is uh, extremely annoying. Even if the password is correct it will still give you that password is in incorrect because the Wi-Fi will not send signal to the iPhone. The iPhone will see that uh, there's Wi-Fi connection at full strength, but it isn't getting any internet from you. On the other hand, your laptop with uh, the wireless is probably working. So if you have, you are having the problem that you have a Wi-Fi and some devices work fine and some devices simply cannot connect to the internet, then your problem is not with your other devices. It's a simple problem with the Wi-Fi. As I said, it has a cap. Now this cap, this let's say 100 uh, cap, can be reached extremely quick. Now you might think that uh, you're alone using your uh, Wi-Fi and it should never hit the cap. But the problem is that this cap uh, contains every time somebody tries to connect, or somebody has connected. So if you have a Wi-Fi for 2-3 years, you probably got some friends over, you probably bought new devices which have uh, Wi-Fi connections, so on and so forth, and after a while, the data, the cap will be met. As I said, once this cap is, is met, it will sim the Wi-Fi will simply limit the number of uh, connections. Now, there are two things which you need to do. First, change the wireless name. The second, change the wireless uh, password. So, to make it extremely simple, take your wireless in your hand, turn it around, and you will see an IP address, something like this, 192. Dot blah blah blah, something like this. Type this in, in your browser. In the bottom of your router, you will also find your password there. Usually it is something like 123 or admin. But just take a look, it's written in really, really small characters, but it should be right below this. Now, once you have written that, and once you have logged in successfully, yes, this will, will work even if uh, you're not connected to the internet. Uh, then you have to find the wireless
Now you will see the wireless networks on your uh, Wi-Fi and you will find something either like wireless or wireless network or SSID if I remember correctly change the name so be before when you connected to the Wi-Fi you connected to your network which was named cookie now change the name to cookie one there's no other thing which you have to change after this you have to go to wireless security now you will find that there is a password there usually it should be your own password there um, there are a couple of options WP uh, web or some something like that you will see that one of them is selected and there is actually a password there simply change the password once you have changed the password then simply restart your router make sure to save the settings and restart your router there's no need to connect to, to make a new wireless network because it won't work if you use the same uh, name and same password simply change the name and change the, the password once you have saved it will usually give you an option to restart the router if not you have to manually restart the router once you have restarted the router manually you will see that all of a sudden you will be able to connect with every single device in your house so there's no need to buy a new wi-fi because this is some um, I don't know if it's a bug, it's probably a feature that nobody is telling us why it is like this. So thank you very much for watching and uh, make sure to share if it was useful because I simply couldn't find any useful information on the internet. P.S. There are a couple of tutorials for this problem that will say that you will need to download some kind of software, some kind of blah blah blah. It's probably malware, spyware, virus, something like that, or even worse. Who knows? You do not need to download anything. So be safe and thank you very much for watching. Make sure to share it so everybody else can see it.